uh, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Hope you are all well. This is your 2017 general uh, reading for the year. It relates to everything that's going on in your lives. Thank you for your patience. Today is actually the 29th of January 2017. And these are quite long readings, so it has taken me a little while to get them up and running. I do thank you for your patience. Um, my dear Libras, I am using the Modern Spellcasters Tarot. Okay, and these are by Melanie Marquise. Okay, and you'll notice that they're very different, the, uh, the illustrations on them. They are quite different, but I love the colors in them and the pictures. Really beautiful tarot deck. And it's a special one for me, so I'm using it for my uh, yearly readings. Now at the end of the reading, I'm taking a card from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Okay, beautiful, lovely quality. And these cards are by Raven Felon. Okay, the Dreams of Gaia. The major arcana are, are a little bit different to the Rider Waite, so I am looking at the book if it is necessary and reading a little bit just to give you a fair idea of what's what's playing out okay and I'm also using the La Vera Sibila which I always use by Masangini okay now please guide the universe for my dear Librans and I have already shuffled your cards but this is just a quick shuffle I am using more cards for the yearly reading and uh, for more clarity obviously and also I'm not doing reversals so I'm using the uh, La Vera Sibila and more cards from the uh, Spellcasters Tarot Libra please Libra for the year 2017 regarding love family financial work relationships okay Libra Libra 2017 yearly reading Okay, at the bottom of the deck, what a beautiful card. We've got the full card. Okay, Major Arcana. Look at the picture here. Looks as though my Librans are taking a leap of faith, beginning a new journey, taking a risk in 2017. This guy looks really jolly, doesn't he? Like he has not a worry in the world. I do hope for all my Librans that that is the case for 2017. Oh my God, <laughs> what was I just saying? The Three of Swords, but look at the sun beneath it, okay. Libra, you've got Jupiter in your sign and Jupiter is the lucky planet, is the planet of abundance. So whatever you are clearing out, whatever Jupiter is clearing out, this is to bring you balance, okay. Always remember that the universe is there for our highest good, okay. This is the now situation. This is what you're going through. And this is a clearing energy uh, just to let you know that uh, 2016, as a lot of people have said, has been a very difficult year. And it is a year number nine, which says that we are going through a cycle of ending, okay? Endings and new beginnings for 2017. Now, this is the now, so... I would say even the beginning, the end of 2016 and the beginning of 2017, this is the energy that I can see a lot of my Librans are going through. Your challenge card is the Seven of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the King of Wands. So Fire Sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. 
in the near past is the Queen of Swords. Here you are. Okay, it looks as though you are standing up for what you believe in. What is crossing, what is crowning your reading is the Wheel of Fortune. There we go. There's the change coming in. In the near future, which I would say would be up until mid-year, we've got the, uh, the Emperor. Beautiful card. Oh my goodness, my dear Librans. Okay, um, the Virgos that are on the cusp with Libra, they had the Ten of Swords as well as one of the outcome cards. Now this is the in the advice position and how people see you. So it looks as though, um, my God, my dear Libra, I'm sorry to say that. But that's what the Wheel of Fortune is all about. Okay, in the environment position, we've got the card of Virgo, the Hermit. This is what is external to you. Another major arcana card. Whoa, this is what you're hoping for. Completion. Some of you may be fearing this, but I doubt that very much. Now the outcome card is the Moon. Okay, the Moon is another major arcana card and I am pulling two clarification cards next to the outcome. Wow, you've got the sun and the moon. Wow, that is beautiful. And Queen of Cups as well. And at the bottom of the deck, as I said, another major arcana card, the full card. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcana cards here. Very strong. Very strong indeed. Okay. Okay, the three of swords. Three of swords, it is a three. Now some of you have had your heart broken and and it hasn't been easy obviously, obviously. Now the fact that the sun is here could be a, could be a virtue. Usually the sun's rays are warming and healing and um, they they give vitality, you know. They they shower us with energy and and strength. Okay, so um, some of you may have been heartbroken by a Leo because Leo is um, Leo is ruled by the sun. Um, that's what the sun would mean for some of you, but uh, this could also mean clarity because the sun is all about clarity, okay? Um, and it looks as though the sun is burning, you know, it's, it's setting the heart on fire, which says that some of you may have been heartbroken by a Leo, okay? Now, um, there could be three people in a situation in a love triangle. Now, if it's not a love relationship, this could be partnership. You could have been deceived by some partner uh, in your work environment. And um, the thing is, you see, we've got the, um, the King of Wands, which is at the bottom of your reading. This is the root of the matter, King of Wands. And he is someone who is very strong, could be a business um, entrepreneur. Very, very strong energy is the King of Wands. Now, as I said, I'm not reading reversals, so I don't know whether this is a good thing, a good card, a good person, someone who is positive or someone who is negative. Now, it's a fire sign. As I said, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Okay. Um, let 
this as I said is a very strong energy and uh, usually fire signs the king of wands let's say someone who um, is a person who would look look out for all his people this is um, someone that a lot of people depend on um, he's spontaneous he's up and running he's not the person that will think of something and not move and not take action this is someone who is very very much a leader um, on the upside on the downside it could be someone who is very egotistical they are driven by their ego um, maybe this authority um, position that he is in could have have him being very um, um, very stuck up and very you know self-centered um, that's the downside to this character here um, I will be looking at some more cards and we will be able to get more clarity on this this character here now your challenge card is the seven of wands a lot of people tend to read this as putting up a barrier um, fighting off competition that could be the case but for me this card mostly speaks of perseverance okay and standing up for what you believe in uh, standing up for standing up and against the odds okay so this person looks as though they're doing a fine job he doesn't look as though he's very stressed out does he in this in this actual tarot deck so I think that um, even though it's a, a card of a challenge this card is in the challenge position um, and because a situation like this is never easy it never is easy I think that what you are going through you are challenged to stick up for what you believe in okay and stand up for what you want to to accomplish okay and you're just going to have to be strong to do that and I would like to just say that in the near past it looks as though you have been you have been quite strong maybe the situation has made you need to um, need to be a bit more um, you know taking a step back and and being a little bit more aloof more cold not thinking so much um, from your heart and um, look at the way that this queen is sitting um, the way that she's holding that sword up she looks very strong very strong very decisive and um, and I think that it is necessary and it was the right thing to do for you the way that you have um, taken on this challenge um, and maybe for some of you because this is the near past position maybe your your energy was um, you know taking a step back and being not so emotional right and um, maybe that's the reason why we got to the three of swords maybe someone your partner if this is a love relationship um, maybe there was a need for much more passion because this queen is not about passion she's all about the facts she's all about yes doing the right thing she is a um, she's a fair queen but she's not she's you know she's not that that fire driven she's she's more cold okay so if we look at um, if we look at this fire sign these this king and this queen are two opposites now they do say that opposites do attract and they do fit each other but it's not always the case in some things yes but not in everything now if this is a partnership within your work um, there has been some sort of some sort of you know uh, discontent something um, because this is all about perceptions okay swords are all about our perception our thoughts our ideas maybe you clash 
um, as partners within a business. Maybe there is, you know, differences in opinion and that's what this um, Three of Swords could be speaking to in regards to your career. Okay. But I think that having the challenge card as being the Seven of Wands, it says that do stick up for what you believe in. Um, you may, things may change for you, right? Because it is the challenge card. Now, what is crowning your reading is um, the Wheel of Fortune, the Karmic Wheel of Fortune, and that is turning. This is what's on your mind. It's your crowning card. It's a very strong position for a card like this to be in. Okay, this is a completion. It's a number 10. The wheel is turning, and the, the wheel is turning, I would say, in your favor. Um, and I'm saying that because usually I see the Wheel of Fortune as a positive card. Um, right across the Wheel of Fortune is the sun. So this can't be, this can't be something that is negative for you, Libra. Now, I forgot to mention that even though I said that this is your energy, for some of you guys, if this is your partner, whether it's in love or whether it's in business, if this is the energy that your partner is taking on, um, do not worry because they're going to be fair. They may be a little bit uh, withdrawn or a little bit um, unemotional towards you. Um, it's probably just the way that they are and they they prefer to look at the facts okay and that is what's their drive their drive is what is in in the intellect what is intellectually um, the right thing to do okay and in regards to business I think that is a very good uh, very good and positive thing to have it's an attribute okay now, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the full card, as I said, Major Arcana card, New Beginning, and this ties in so well with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is the beginning of a new cycle, okay, and um, it is, as I said before, taking a risk, but sometimes it is necessary for us to do that. Okay, and this is what the universe is telling you to do. Take a risk because the universe is there for you. Take the plunge. Obviously, this is how it's been for you, Nine of Wands. This is beneath the full card. I think you've gotten to the point where you're thinking, okay, it's win or lose, win or lose. You're taking that, that gamble because you felt like you were in a bit of a prison. This Nine of Wands looks as though there is a prison around this person and it is a wands card so some of you may have felt trapped okay and I think that you are breaking free from the trap and this is the three of cups that is beneath there is going to be a celebration my dear Libra and again this is a three but they do say three is a crowd two's company three is a crowd for, for those of you that are in a business, maybe there has been a third partner which has ne it's been necessary for them to, um, you know, to move out, to, to get out of the picture. Um, sometimes, as I said, two is company, three is a crowd. It's much easier to, to agree, for two people to agree than for three people to agree. But the Three of Cups is all about celebrations okay it's getting to your goal so having a, ce a celebratory uh, card um, beneath that that's another another inkling for me saying that in regards to business with the will of fortune here with a will of fortune and you guys standing up for what you believe in, the near future and roughly mid-year, this I would say is your energy. Um, this is where you're going to be. For those of you that are in a partnership uh, in regards to career, 
um, you are going to be taking the lead, you are going to be the leader. Okay, someone is going to be able to be calling the shots. If this is your partner, and I'm only mentioning this because this is the card of Aries, and Aries is a very strong leader, okay, that's why they are depicted here, and this is the card of Aries, and Aries is the leader, right? They're always, you know, they're all about the I, I am. It's all about themselves. It's all about... Um, being first, being number one, and they are the first sign within the um, the horoscope, okay? Um, and this is another fire sign, so this could be an Aries for some of you. I did mention Leo before, but there is an Aries here as well, so that could be very prominent for some of you. Now, the Emperor is number four of the Major Arcana. So this is in regards to your home, your your um, your foundation, um, and sometimes when we say foundation, I mean career has got a lot to do with our foundation. Okay, um, I think that you will be sitting strong, sitting very strongly and very decisively, and you are a leader. You're going to be the leader if there has been any any clashes there uh, in regards to partnership, I think that you are taking the reins. You are taking the risk and the risk is going to... it's going to pay off. That's what the Sun says to me because the Sun is the most positive card in the Tarot for me. The Sun is the, the best card that you can get. Okay, now in the advice position and how people see you, we've got the Ten of Swords. And I did say that um, if there is a third if there is a third partner within your career, um, they may be leaving the scene, leaving the picture. This this is because of what's happened here. We've got a completion here. We've got the Ten of Swords, which says speaks of lies and deception. Okay, and this is We've got two tens here, okay? Completions. Um, so there is a time for change. This is um, what ha what has happened or what is going to happen because, as I mentioned before, from here, this part of the reading here is the first part of the year, the half, first half, and this is the second half, okay? So for those of you that are, that are in a partnership, um, there could be deception going on there. And um, I don't think it's between two partners. I do think that there is a third partner that is involved. So it looks as though there will be cleansing here. Um, now the deception shows because this is your position. This is how people see you, which is a little bit scary. Um, but you are going to be clearing this energy you are in your element. The Queen of Swords is someone who cuts whatever is unwanted out, whatever is not working. Okay, she calls the shots and she cuts through with that big sword. Okay. Now, if we are talking about a love relationship, I did say that there may be three people involved because we've got the Three of Swords here. So there has been deception. Now, the Ten of Swords, because this is the advice position and how people see you, um, it could go either way. Either you are doing the deception, you are causing um, a... you are putting an end to something um, because of lies and because of deceit. Okay, maybe you were in an unhappy situation where you um, you had to break free. Okay, and this was the only way that it was possible. Okay, sometimes they do say that in a love triangle, um, the deception is not not it's it's not the cause, it's the um, it's the outcome. Okay. 
the cause of the um, deception would be unhappiness within a relationship. I don't know if you guys understand me. I hope I was clear with what I just said. Now, for others of you, this is you being deceived. You're being stabbed and stabbed in the back. Okay? And um, there is an ending here. Now, someone is looking for answers. Someone is looking for answers. This is the Hermit card. This is the card of Virgo. Um, this is someone who is going within and looking for the answers. This guy is looking at, he's looking into the lantern. He's meditating and going very deep to find and search for the answers that are necessary for him to move forward. Okay, as I said, the card of Virgo. I forgot to mention before that it's not going to be a three-way situation for all of you. Okay, because the Three of Swords doesn't only speak of a love triangle. It speaks of heartbreak in general. So for some of you that are dealing with a fire sign, okay, um, I mentioned Aries and I mentioned Leo more than likely. Um, there could be heartbreak and it's not only because um, something has gone wrong. Something obviously was missing. Something was missing, maybe a, a passion, maybe um, your partner felt a little bit left out, a little bit felt a little bit estranged from you because this is the energy that you are showing here. But there is a change here with the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, the card of Aries here, the Emperor, this is all about your home, okay, your, your roots, your stability. It's a good card to have here because the Emperor is a number four, okay. Uh, it's a number four and the Emperor is a guy who is able to look after their family. He's a guy who um, puts puts everyone's needs above above the circumstances, okay. He's there for the good of the whole. Okay. Now I'm going to look at this card again with another card because I don't, I'm not reading reversals. So I have the feeling that this would, would have been upright. I don't think that it's a bad card, but I will come back to it. And I'll also be looking at these two cards here. Now in your hopes and fears, we've got the world card. Okay, so some of you are hoping for a completion. Some of you are fearing a completion. It could go either way. Um, for those of you that have been through a lot of um, heartache, those of you who have been in a love triangle, you may be hoping for the completion. Maybe you're wanting to get out, okay, and travel because this is a card of travel. Now, for others of you, this could be a success card, which says there is a completion of something that was going on in your life, the deception maybe. Maybe that you're hoping for a completion for the difficulty that you've been through. Okay? The completion, go, going through the journey. We've got... We've got... Um, the beginning of the cycle and the end of the cycle. So Libra will be doing all the cycle in the year of 2017. And as I said, for some of you, you have begun from the end of 2016. And as I said, some of you are hoping to go away and just get away from everything, travel overseas. Okay, the outcome card is the moon card. And the moon is all about fears, de uh, deception could be, um, it could be um, heightened psychic ability, trust in your instinct, um, being given signs, synchronicity, dreaming, um, and not enough clarity, obviously. Okay, so it's a, it's a very strong card of fear. Okay, but luckily, luckily, and I can say that, for you Libra. We've got the Sun card. 
which the sun is going to shine. It's going to, you know, show everything up. It's going to shine down on the situation and give you the clarity that you are hoping for. Okay, this, as I said, it's all about vitality. It's all about happiness. It's it's in regards to children, okay, because the Sun card has it deals with the fifth house, and the fifth house is all about romance, children, creativity, okay. So the Sun is, as I said, very very strong, um, very strong in the sense that it 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 feeds us it feeds us with hope this is the card of hope okay and then we've got the queen of cups and the queen of cups is um, a water sign Pisces um, Pisces Scorpio or cancer okay it's going to be different for all of you as I said before it's a general reading now this is either trusting in your intuition because she's a, the very, um, she's the minor arcana of the intuitive queen, like she's the minor arcana of the high priestess, okay? A lot of um, emotion here, a lot of emotion. She is a very loving, very nurturing, very selfless sort of an energy. There's that, and there's also the um, very strong intuitive queen. So you guys may be taking on the energy of the queen of cups. Now for those of you that are in a love triangle, okay, because we've got a few signs here. Oh my goodness, okay, as I said before, um, we've got a fire sign, could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius, could be an Aries. More strongly we've got Leo because of the Sun card and we've also got Aries because of the Emperor and also you guys we've uh, we've also got the water sign here okay it could be Cancer, Scorpio or, um, or Pisces as I said before for some others of you, we may be talking about a Virgo, because this is the card of Virgo. But I would like to go ahead now and look, get some more cards, a bit more clarity. I'll put the full card down. For my dear singles, some of you will be dealing with a fire sign, and as I said, it's going to be more strongly a Leo. Um, Aries is a very strong one as well, strong sign. And for others of you, we could be talking about a water sign, all right? It's going to be different for everyone. This is a general reading, you guys. And don't forget to check out your rising sign or moon sign, okay, for more clarity. I would like to look at the um, the card of Aries, the Emperor. Okay, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is, this card could be speaking of messages, internet, travel, very fast-paced motion, movement. Um, this could also be the, uh, the arrows of Cupid, you know, the arrows of love coming very quickly. So... The eights are a number of balance, so as I said before, I do not think, I did say, I don't think that this emperor here is a negative energy. I do think that it is all about your stability, so there is very quick movement, and as I said for some of you, because these are wands, very strongly a fire sign, fire sign and Aries is very strong. Let me look at um, this king of wands. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles says that you are looking at the um, the matter 
and you are wondering whether you should invest any more time into this partner. But as you can see, in this tarot deck, the woman is still watering the plant, which says that you are not giving up on this fire sign for those of you that are dealing with a fire sign, okay? So for me, the Seven of Pentacles is a positive card. So I think more than likely that this is a positive King of Wands. It's not a negative figure. For most of you, it's going to be someone who is positive. But I will pull some Sabilas as well in regards to that. Okay, now I would like to look at this Hermit card because it is in the environment position, so it's very important to look at. Maybe some of you guys are taking on the energy of the Hermit. Um, that could be the case because the card is showing up there and that's why I'm mentioning that. Okay, Five of Swords. This is a very difficult energy. So for some of you... Um, as I said before, the third person in the love triangle could be a Virgo, and I did say that. We've got the Five of Swords. Now, there's usually in the Rider Waite Tarot, there's three people that are in battle, okay? And it's trying to, this, this person who is standing is trying to win over his competitors. And he does not care if there is, you know, if he's sacrificing, he's sacrificing um, what he needs to to get the job done, to get to beat the others, okay, to win over the situation, no matter what the cost, okay. So this is not a very good energy to have here with the uh, the hermit card. Now, one more card, four of swords, okay. So this reminds me of the hermit card very much. So because this guy is meditating, he's been through battle. And he's just getting ready to get out there again and finish off the job, okay? So it's it's quite a um, quite a difficult energy here with the hermit. So whatever hurt you've been through, okay, you're needing to take time time out to gather up your thoughts to to work out what is the best way to get through this situation. And look at the wolves sitting around just waiting to prance, you know. As soon as this guy gets up, <laughs> they're, you know, back here again, back to the Five of Swords. Okay, so difficult energy here in the environment. So there is difficult energy within your environment. As I said, some of you are dealing with a Virgo, could be the third party. Um, and some others of you could be dealing with a water sign, okay? Because we've got the we've got the queen uh, queen of queen of cups, and she's next to the moon card. But I would like to pull another card here for those of you that are just you know going through difficult energy with your partner. You are looking for the answers. You are looking for the answers. And it's not going to be easy. But luckily we've got the Wheel of Fortune there. And, you know, in the crowning position. And then we've got the Sun. Let me look at the Queen of Cups. Okay, we've got the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles means needing to make a decision or trying to balance out a situation, trying to find the right balance. You could be choosing between two people. You could be um, juggling between work and home. Um, many times the two is all about decisions. For those of you that are in partnership, again, you may be juggling your pentacles and trying to work out something that is better for you. Okay. Okay. Um, For those of you that are in a love triangle situation, as I said, you could be juggling between two people and you could be juggling between a Virgo and a water sign, okay? Okay, we've got an offer coming in. We've got an offer coming in. This is the Knight of Cups, okay? The Knight of Cups is a water sign. 
Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Now there may be an offer coming, um, coming to you guys from this Queen of Cups. Okay, for those of you that are dealing with a water sign, there will be an offer of uh, something that is emotionally, um, emotionally giving and emotionally fulfilling to you. Okay, now the offer is going to come out of the blue. It's going to be unexpected because we've got the fish there. Okay, and maybe that's why you are juggling and thinking whether you should take the cup or not. Okay, that's going to be your decision. Um, and as I said, it's going to be different for each of you. Okay, some of you, as I said, may be dealing with a water sign or a, an earth sign. Earth sign being the Virgo. Um, I did say that I wanted to look at um, just the Ten of Swords here. I'm just going to pull a card for that. And I will be looking at some Sabilas. What's this Deception card? Ten. Okay, Devil. We've got the Devil um, here, which is another major arcana card. Okay, so this is a feeling of um, feeling trapped, uh, a feeling of being bound, not being able to move forward. This is also the card of Capricorn. Um, luckily, I think that the position of this card is very good. For those of you that have been in a partnership with a Capricorn, it is coming to an end. Okay, so you are breaking free from from the, the chains, from this difficult energy here. And it is a very, very daunting sort of a card um, in this tarot deck. Okay, some of you, after being through this energy with the Ten of Swords, may be just going out and, you know, drowning your, your worries, uh, consuming too much alcohol or whatever else that you are consuming. So do be careful of this energy, okay? Um, one more card I want to see. I don't want to leave it with a devil card there. Just want a bit more clarity there. Okay, and we've got the Two of Swords, which again is a decision, okay? Two of Swords, usually in the right of weight, she's wearing a uh, she's wearing a something on her eyes, a blindfold, so she doesn't have all the information here. She's got the information, she's not blindfolded, so you're going to have the clarity and you'll be able to make a decision okay in moving forward and there are two swords so still there is a decision to be made here so you're going to have two choices and it's going to be a very important decision one that is going to make you break free break free from the from the difficulties here okay maybe the decision is difficult but you are going to make the decision let me look at a couple of Sabilas. Going to look at the Eight of Wands, okay, and the Emperor card. Okay, falsita. Falsita is lies, deception, falseness. Delirante is someone who is delirious, someone who is being held up. As you can see, this guy's got his two mates holding him up. So something is happening that you are very delirious about. You don't do not believe that it's actually happening. All right, but you've got the support of the people that are there for you. And Donna de, de Servizio. Donna de Servizio is the, the card of the servant, the helper. This is a um, very beautiful energy. So um, what these three Sibylas say to me is that 
whatever deception or difficulty you have been through, um, you do have the support of others there, okay? So do not worry about that. You're going to have people there for you. And um, the help could be coming in so quickly that you do not even know where it's come from. That's what the Eight of Wands is saying to me. I would like to look at the uh, the sun and the moon where they're in the um, outcome area there. Okay, Vecchia Signora, which is either a visitor or a change or just you're just being able to to have someone there to advise you, someone who is more experienced, someone who is a bit older. So um, it shows to me that this situation has been quite, it's been as is for a while, okay, because she is an older woman, okay, she's a mature woman, which says that this situation has been ongoing for a while. Okay, Bambino. Bambino is the card of newness. Um, this is a birth. This is a new beginning. For some of you, you could be getting pregnant because as I mentioned before, the sun card is about children as well. In the Rider Waite Tarot, we've got a little boy on a horse and uh, this woman's got a child here. She's, got, she's actually got two, two young babies there. So some of you may be blessed with a pregnancy after having difficulty and not knowing whether you will be able to do that. So that's very good, very good, Libra. We've got the card of Alegria, which is the card of happiness, joy, going out and celebrating with friends. This is one of the most positive cards in the Sevillas. That is so beautiful. I knew that the sun would be bringing happiness into your life, happiness and joy. That's lovely to see. Um, oops. I want to look at this, um, the full card. What's this new journey? Amore, a new journey in love. Something that is going to make you very happy, very happy indeed. Allegreza al cuore. Okay, this is the card of happiness, of course. But um, there's always, you know, this card I look at it as there's three people. But still, it is a, a very, very happy card of, you know, celebrations, going out, having a wonderful time, a lot of joy. And we've got Disgrazia, which is the tower. And I never stop at the tower card, okay? Something sudden, something very sudden, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. And that's going to be because this is the card of the secrets and this is the card of intimacy. So you are going to take a journey, a leap of faith where love is concerned. For those of you that are in love, you're going to have very good news, very sudden news because this is the card of secrets but something is coming to light obviously and it's the card of intimacy. So for, for those of you that are in a new journey, on a new journey and you're taking a leap of faith in love, it's all beautiful, absolutely beautiful okay and for those of you that I said are getting pregnant this is a new journey for you and all this all the love and all the intimacy suddenly bang here's a new life it's not going to be for all of you okay this is a general reading and I have to give all the messages that I see I would like to look at the three of swords Jealousia, so jealousy, tears, uh, regrets. Domestico, this could be someone close to home. This is supposed to be a helper, but this is someone who is, who is in your environment. 
and speranza, which is hope. Okay, so maybe you are hoping to get out of this rut. Maybe you are hoping to have someone to help you get, a, get out of this situation. Okay. And for those of you that are in a, in a triangle situation, we've got the two partners here. Okay, one's a, a more jealous sort of a person. The other one is much more, how can I say, much more earthly, much more um, grounded and dependable. Okay, so the choice that you are making, there is hope there that all will be end all will end well. Um, I'm going to look at the Five of Swords and the Four of Swords here with a Hermit. Constanza, which is Constance. Ladro, which is something gone missing, the thief. Okay, and this could also stand for a change. And Donna Maritata, this is the this is the mother, the loving, nurturing, motherly figure. She is very beautiful. She's a she's a mother. Okay, but this could also be the other person's partner, right? So that's going to speak differently to each and every one of you. And um, Donna Maritata also reminds me of the of the Empress. Okay, that's how I see this Sibylla. The Empress is the mother of earth. She's the the woman who is bearing children. Okay. Um, for those of you that have had difficulty in conceiving, there is going to be a wonderful change. Okay. After having difficulty, constant difficulty, the change is on its way. And you will be bearing children. Okay, now um, I'm going to pull a special message card. I think I would leave I would leave the reading there. They're getting way too long. Um, having trouble uploading these. Please, universe, guides, angels. Can I have a message for my dear Librans for 2017? The whole year, 2017, in regards to business finances. I forgot to mention finances are all going to be good too. If business is good, money's coming. Money's rolling in. Okay. So loving and nurturing your business is going to make it very fruitful. Okay. Because we had the celebration. We had the three of cups. And we've got the sun card at the end. What a better card to have. Okay, one card. Okay, this is this is the Ten of Fire, which is the Ten of Wands. Okay, and it shows all the chakras. What a beautiful depiction here. The Ten of Wands says that it's, it is going to be a burden and um, you're going to get to your goal because tens are completions. We've got a few tens. Uh, we've got a few tens in your reading, okay, which says that you are going to get to a different place. You're coming to a different place. It is changing. You're getting to your goal because this is the Ten of Wands and if you remember the right away tarot, says that the person does get to their goal. Even though it has been a heavy burden, they do accomplish what they're out to accomplish. And um, again, it's a Wands card. It's a Wands card, so fire sign, as I said before, is going to be very important, okay? I'm going to just have a quick look at what the book says. Just a quick look. Um, 253. Okay, 10 of fire. Okay, this is what it says. Um, the Ten of Fire symbolizes mastery. 
not just uh, of a skill or a craft, but of of oneself. It means understanding the tools of your craft and wielding them with skill, precision and craftsmanship. It is about knowing yourself and using that knowledge and understanding to bring you all that you need and desire with the same level of skill, precision and craftsmanship. The master illustrated in the Ten of Fire knows how to wield his personal power. He moves with clear intentions and he acts with the same intent. He is aware of what motivates his behavior and actions and exhibits complete self-command. He acts with deliberation and with complete awareness of the effect his actions will have upon himself and his environment. He is not only confident, he is capable also. Okay, beautiful. So this is all about doing self-mastery, evolution, enlightenment, light work, light being, discipline. Okay, so through a lot of discipline and hard work, you will be getting to your goal at the end of uh, 2017 Libra. You will be balancing out your partnerships, whether in work or whether at home, with your foundation, with your family, partnerships in general. You're still going to have Jupiter in your sign until around October beginning of October so do take advantage of that okay and once that you know once um, Jupiter moves from your first house it's going into your money house your second house which means abundance so keep at it and it's all looking good Libra um, one more thing I wanted to mention is that in all the readings that I've done for 2017 and not only actually for the month of January as well the energies were that difficult, difficult environments and situations are moving out. The sun has just moved into Aquarius. We are supposed to be moving into a much more positive time. Now, even though February is all about eclipses, and they're good eclipses, they're obviously whatever is not necessary is being eclipsed out of our life, okay? Um, that's with the first eclipse happening on the 11th, 10th, 11th of February. So um, what is not working is going to be taken out. This is the universe. And then we've got another eclipse, which is a very, very positive one. From what I hear from the astrologers, April is going to be absolutely wonderful for all of us. Mars has just moved into Aries. Um, Aries is the leader, as I mentioned. I'm saying that because I did mention Aries for you guys as well. Okay, the sun is shining brightly there. Mars is very happy. Um, all the planets are going forward. This is a very good week. I do hope that you all um, enjoy your year and, you know, just push through the difficulties. Uh, we're all being, you know, taken to where we're supposed to be. Okay, and that's the universe and the glory of it. So thank you for watching and I will be catching up with you, Libra. Um, with the February readings. Uh, my love and my uh, respect to all of you. Bye-bye.